Now, last week we reported that a teenager who attended Central High School in Clarendon died from dengue. But despite that, the Clarendon Health Department is insisting the parish has no dengue deaths. So how could that claim be made? TVJ's Shamela Pullen has more in this primetime news report. A confirmed dengue death last week, the victim, 14-year-old Ariel Foster, a student at Central High School in Maypen, Clarendon. Our report noted Ariel contracted dengue while on Christmas vacation in Portmore, St. Catherine. However, Head of Clarendon Health Department, Dr. Kimberly Scarlett Campbell, says she has no records that Ariel's death is from dengue. It was really sad to hear of this death. However, I must say that, to my knowledge, and this is it, to my knowledge, um, she was not a confirmed case of dengue, to my knowledge. Um, it has been speculated and alleged that she was a confirmed case, but that information has not come to me. I have not seen any positive results for this person, so I cannot say that she was a confirmed case of dengue. Dr. Scarlett Campbell added that since the dengue outbreak, Clarendon is yet to record a confirmed case. However, the health department has a list of high-risk communities they are keeping a close watch on. We have some in Kellys proper, Crafts Hill. We have some in Maypen, including Treadlight area. We have some in Portland Cottage, Lionel Town, Portland Settlement. We have areas also in the Mineral Heights area by the, what, the, the NWC treatment water supply system. And we have quite a number of areas in Clarendon. But what we have done, we have... Uh, share the information if there are any burst pipes or anything we go to nwc directly and we also advise the, Co the Clarendon municipal corporation about that dr scarlett campbell says they have also heightened vector control activities she says drains which were not targeted in the past are now of concern especially with garbage collection being an issue the whole heap of containers and bottles you find breathing in the drain because you have these containers in the drain so we know we have to work with the Clarendon municipal corporation to try to clean these drains and as well as working with nswma to try to get Get rid of breeding sites due to all derelict materials in persons yard and on the street as well as to clear up the illegal dumps in the parish so we have been doing the best that we can shamela pullen tvj news